it's a light and i'm always always delighted to have you join me and today i'm going to be talking about why i stopped reading books yeah <sighs> i feel awkward talking about it because it's kind of not an official official topic like it's a strange topic to talk about but i'm going to share with you guys so please stay with me on this one and please if you're new here please like subscribe if you end up liking this video so it was a normal cool morning at home just relaxing you know the normal stuff we all do and then i saw these books and okay normally i'm not going to touch anything here because i know that i'm not going to read anything so i was just going through it until i kind of saw this book oh my god this book kind of grabbed my attention i don't know there was just something about it the author the title and i was just thinking to myself i have to read this book but i was like can i commit to reading this book can i really commit to reading this book because i know my reading habits have far left me so just thinking let's see i'm so excited about it because the name is the princess oh my god guys the name is the princess within and um growing up i was not such a huge fan of books but i grew up watching my classmates read a lot of novels and i just wanted to feel among if we would say that yeah i wanted to just feel part of them so i started borrowing their novels so i started to read and it was not that inviting until i started reading like romance novels you know the suspense and all those kind of stuff who just kind of keep you glued you can agree with me that oh jesus why would that dog do that you can agree with me that romance novels always have that kind of suspense or something so that was what like drew my attention to books <laughs> i don't know let me not sound funny but i think basically it was because of the suspense and that kind of stuff so yeah that's what i started off with and that drew my attention to books and you know i just liked the whole idea as my friends also did because most of my friends actually liked the idea please excuse my dog for packing so yeah as my friends also liked the idea i just kind of fell in love with the idea too why not i started to read from there and started to pick interesting books i loved the journey that books would take you through and you know arriving at one position or just you know figuring things out learning new things they introducing you to another world entirely it's really 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 great but this is the reason i stopped i started to read books and i started to like absorb for me i was young i'm still young for me i was a little bit small and my mind for myself was kind of gullible I'm not going to lie, it was kind of, you know, fragile and gullible. So, books would always introduce ideas, certain ideas about life to me. Like, a whole lot of things. It gave me, you know, ideas about life because the reader directs his perspective to you or trying to drive, um, you know, a perspective to you. As I was, as I was small at that time, I just felt like, oh no, that my mind is very gullible and I don't want you know to get another person's ideologies i don't know if i'm driving my point but i was like these writers are writing their own ideas their own perspective their own you know thought pattern and as i read because it was you know it was particular to me i was grabbing those patterns i did not you know really care to think about it and think about you know who is this writer why should i follow his path why should i follow her path why should i take her perspective on this thing i did not really care to do some digging i didn't really care to filter the books i was reading i was just reading 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 and i don't know i felt like it was going to affect me somehow some way so i kind of stopped that's how i stopped because i was like i did not want the ideas to you know be in me or for me to grab the ideas i wanted to have a mind of my own before i now read books and now you know know the one i'm reading maybe slow down on reading books and yeah 
I just felt my mind was very gullible and I was not watching the authors I was reading from. Actually, before you read a book, you have to actually know the author because, like I said, it's a, I feel like it's a thought pattern and they are passing it to you. So even if it is a book that is on self-improvement, kind of do some digging into the author to know if you really want to be reading this book and if it kind of aligns with your values because we're all different people and may not really align with your value. Books are, you know, I feel like they are introducing the writer's perspective into your into yourself as a person and it can actually improve you or give you I don't think I was you know old enough to really control that that was why I stopped reading books and I feel like that was a good decision but I would have advised myself <laughs> advised my younger self to you know check the books that I was reading maybe get an adult or some, somebody to select the books for me so thank you for staying with me and please if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you i'm back to reading books because i'm grown now and the business up on the low ain't gotta do for sure promoters be spraying cologne bushes